Hello folks, uh, this is the first P4 paper from the May-June 2020 exams. So it is 2020 May-June paper 42 and the question number is 7. The chapter involved is electric field. It says that a metal sphere of radius r is isolated in space. So, space. That means it's not affected by any other charged bodies. That means a point P is a, a distance x from the center of the sphere as illustrated in figure 7.1. Yeah. The variation with distance x of the electric field strength E due to the charge on the sphere is shown in figure 7.2 as you can see here. Uh, from uh, 0 distance till till about uh, uh, this is 5, 4.5 centimeter, it is uh, uh, the value of E is 0, 0. Then at to 4.5 cm, it rises suddenly till this is 15, uh, 18. 18 into 10 to the power 5 volt per meter, then it starts to decrease gradually. And the rate of decrease is uh, high in the beginning. Uh, later, it uh, uh, decreases at slower rate. So, state what is meant by the radial field strength. So, it is the force experienced per unit positive, per unit stationary positive charge placed in the field. So, that's the simple definition. Uh, I am not much focused towards that. So, my main focus will be from the next page. It says that I uh, use figure 7.2 to determine the radius r of the sphere. So we have to use this figure 7.2 to determine the radius r of the sphere. So this is figure 7.2. I have folded the paper, the paper. So uh, we have to find this thing. So what happens is uh, inside our metal sphere, E should be zero. So that means uh, from here to here, from here to here, it should be inside the sphere. And outside, there is some electric field. So it is outside. So from 4.5, it is outside till 4.5, it is inside. So that means, so. Uh, e equal to 0 e, e equal to 0 inside the sphere inside the sphere sphere and uh, non zero and non zero outside the sphere outside the sphere so that's why the boundary that uh, uh, that uh, acts as both of them is this uh, distance of 4.5 centimeter so it is 4.5 centimeter now use figure 7.2 to determine the charge q on the sphere so we have to find charge q so that requires us that uh, this e equal to this e is equal to here at the very surface the e should be equal to 15 this is uh, 17.5 middle of 20 and 15 and this should be 18 so it is 18 into 10 to the power 5 volt per meter and r is as given it is 4.5 centimeter was equal to 0 0.045 meter so we have the formula e is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon naught assuming vacuum by r square which gives us q is equal to e into 4 pi epsilon naught r square and if i use the values it will be equal to e equal to 18 into 10 to the power 5 into it is a uh, 4 pi into 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 into this r is 0 0.045 squared so it should be equal to if i use calculator so this time i'm using tablet phone here so it's a huge thing here uh, so it is a uh, 18 exponent exponent uh, um sorry it is exponent uh, 18 uh sorry exponent uh, 5 5 into 4 into shift pi into 8.85 exponent minus 12 into into 0 0.045 squared so this has come to be equal to 4.05 4.05 into 10 to the power minus 7 coulomb so it is 4.05 into 10 to the power minus 7 coulomb of charge now an alpha particle is situated a distance 8 cm from the center of the sphere so alpha particle is situated at a distance of 8 centimeter from the sphere calculate the acceleration of the alpha particle so at 8 centimeter the value of e is this the value of e is this and this comes to this this comes to this so our e should be equal to so it is a 5 uh, 5 uh, this should be 6 this should be 6 so it is 5.5 and between 5.5 and 6 so it should be 5.75 5.75 uh, 
uh, into 10 to the power 5 volt per meter at that distance that means at uh, r equal to 8 centimeter which is 0 0.08 meters so I should we have to find a so a is equal to the force there by mass and the force is equal to equal to equal to uh, is equal to uh, charge of alpha particle into e divided by divided by uh, mass of the alpha particle charge of alpha by mass of alpha. and that's equal to charge of alpha is equal to 2 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into into e is equal to 5.75 into 10 to the power 5 whole divided the mass of alpha particle is equal to 4 into 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 27 from the data page so now this gives us the value of isolation so let's do it let's do it so 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 we'll have 2 into 1.6 uh, exponent minus uh, 19 into 5.75 exponent 5 divided 4 divided 1.66 exponent minus 27 equal to so this becomes this means this becomes 2.77 into 10 to the power 13 meter per second squared so it is 2.77 into 10 to the power 13 meter per second squared so now this is a tremendous value it's a very huge value and we might wonder that if it accelerates for one second the velocity will be 2.77 into 10 to the power 13 meter per second but that's not true because it cannot accelerate for one second so our physical setting, physical world is such that, such that when it accelerates, the time taken is too, 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 too short. So that the velocity can never reach to be, reach uh, near the velocity of light. So that is how nature arranges itself.